and welcome back to the breakdown. Just yesterday, Stoneblock 2 came out, and that means we need to show you guys how to install it. Stoneblock 2 is the successor to Stoneblock, the original Stoneblock, downloaded over a million times. A hugely popular mod pack. This one is number two, the follow-up, and it's presented by FTB, meaning it has that awesome touch of the Feed the Beast team on it. That is what I call the makings of an awesome mod pack. The one thing to mention, though, is if you want to start a server with Stoneblock 2, the easiest way to do it is with Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded to get an awesome 24-hour server running Stoneblock 2 with just one click. It's not going to be using your own computer's resources to run the server. All you're going to have to do is take your IP, copy it into Stoneblock 2, paste it in Direct Connect there, and just like that, you will have an awesome server set up running Stoneblock all for less than $10 a month. You can check out Apex again at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded. But nonetheless, let's just go ahead and jump right on into this. First and foremost, you need to go to the second link down below, and that will take you here. This is where we need to download the Twitch app. Stoneblock 2, just like Stoneblock 1, is installed through the Twitch app. So if we click on the big white download button here, the Twitch app will download in the bottom left. You may have to keep this file. It might ask you, are you sure you want to download this? If it does, click keep. As you can see, this is on twitch.tv. So if you use Twitch, you can use the Twitch app downloaded here. There we go, the download is now finished and we can minimize our browser and here is the Twitch app on our desktop. If this isn't on your desktop, don't freak out. Hit the Windows icon at the top left for me, probably in the bottom left for you, and it will open up the Start menu here. Just type in Downloads exactly like that and you'll have this Downloads folder, file folder in Windows, as you can see. Click on that and drag Twitch setup from here to your desktop just for ease of use. Once we've got this here, we can go ahead and double click on it and it will open up the Twitch installer. This is pretty simple. It's just like installing any other program. Click on install. It'll go through, install, do some things, and it will open up your Twitch app. Now, you may have to log in here. It might have me log in. It looks like I'm going to be able to log in as my account there, but you will have to enter your Twitch login information here and do all that to be able to log in. But I'm going to go ahead and log in as me. I'm most likely have to do a two-factor authentication. I did not, but we are now on the main menu. As you can see, do you want to enable friend sync? We can just know things. I'll do it later. And then we want to click on the mods tab up here, right? Right next to the search bar, the mods tab. Click on that and then click on Minecraft here. And then go ahead and click on the purple install button in the bottom center of the screen. It will then go through and install Minecraft and everything it needs to do to allow you to install Stoneblock 2. Once that's done, it will open up like this where you want to click on Browse All Mod Packs. And then right here, we can search Stone Block. And then right here it is, FTB prevent, Presents Stone Block 2. Right there it is, click Install, and then it will go through Download and Install Everything You Need to Get for the Stone Block 2 Mod Pack. This has hundreds of mods in it. And it's going to take a while, right? It's going to take a long while to download everything in the Stone Block 2 mod pack. And if you do have this, this has been happening to me occasionally with the Twitch app for some reason. It's coming up and saying, not connected, reconnecting. It will reconnect and then download. As you can see, this has 201 mods in it. So it's going to take a while. I will see you once these 201 mods have downloaded and installed to uh, go ahead, launch up Stone Block and get in the game. There we go. Stone Block is finally done downloading and it will look exactly like this once it's done. Just go ahead and click on the purple play button here and the Minecraft launcher will download and open up. Once you've got this opened up, by the way, you will need to log into it using your Mojang Minecraft account, the same one that you use in the normal Minecraft launcher you will use here because as you'll see, this is the normal Minecraft launcher just with Stoneblock 2 installed. So pretty simple, pretty easy stuff here. So just go ahead, setting up runtime, and it will open up the Minecraft launcher. There we go, and here it is. As you can see, we do need to log in here. So let me go ahead, log on in to our Minecraft launcher here, and I will see you guys once I've clicked that green login button. There we go. We are now logged into the Minecraft launcher. Again, using the same login information that you use in the default Minecraft launcher. And then up here in the top right, we do have these three lines. You see that? Click on that. And then click on launch options here. Then we want to come down here to where it says FTB presents stone block two. Click on that. And then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that. That's just so you guys can see once we've got stone block open. Then we also want to add more RAM to stone block. I would recommend at least 
six five and a half gigabytes of RAM to six gigabytes of RAM here. That's why we've changed this from three to XMX six. Changing that to 6072 gives us 5.3 ish gigabytes of RAM. Now let's go ahead and click save here, and then we can go ahead and click on news. And now we want to click on the little green arrow next to the play button here. Click on FTB presents Stone Block 2. Click on that. Click play. And now we'll go ahead, download everything it needs to download, and launch Stone Block 2. The first time you launch Stone Block 2, it is going to take a while. A long while. And that is perfectly okay. It's with every mod pack, it's going to take a while pretty much every time you open it, but the first time you launch it always takes the longest, and that is going to hold true with Stone Block 2. Anyway, I will see you once it is opening and loading up to uh, show you something you might want to look out for and teach you how to manage it if uh, you have an issue during the launch process. Now, it may look like the launcher crashed, but really what it did is just disappear for a second waiting for Stone Block to open in the background. This will take a second to uh, to happen. There it is. That's how long it can take. Even longer, actually, because it was like two or three seconds before I started talking back in the video here. Now, one of the things I will mention is Stone Block's launching. You may have something occur in which uh, it locks up. And I'll go ahead and kind of force it to lock up there if we can. No, it doesn't look like it's going to. But basically, you might start getting this spinning wheel sort of a thing, and it might be like it's not responding, and then it might actually say not responding, and the screen may kind of go white, and it looks like it's about to crash, but it won't crash. Just wait. Just sit and wait it out. And if it does crash on you, you just need to add more RAM to Stone Block 2, and then you'll be good. But it looks like we're good here with 5.3 gigabytes, 6,000 back in the launcher there. And yeah, I'm just going to wait until we get on to the... There it is. So boom, it just went not responding for a second and then fixed itself. Yours may go a lot longer than that before fixing itself, but that is what you can look for. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys on the Stone Block 2 main menu. We're almost done with this tutorial. And there we go. Feed the Beast presents Stone Block 2. Here is our beautiful main menu. Way to go, guys over at Feed the Beast. But if we go ahead and launch into single player here... I'm just going to create a new world, not change anything, just launch right on into a stone block world here, and uh, we should be good to go. Now, this is a awesome mod pack from all I've told. To be honest, it came out yesterday, I've not had a chance to play it or anything, but it looks to be a really good improvement and take everything that was kind of bad about stone block, one, not that there was much bad about it, and just improve on it and just make Stone Block 2 much better and use the power that FTB has and the relationships they have with mod creators and things like that to really and truly make an awesome mod pack. So I'm really excited to see what this mod pack is going to be. And uh, yeah, very, very soon we'll be doing the How to Start a Server tutorial on it. However, if you want to go ahead and skip the wait and get your server up and running, you can check out the breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded first link down below to get an awesome Stoneblock server set up for less than $10 per month in just a few clicks. Less than five minutes and you'll be in-game playing Stone Block. But here we are, speaking of in-game, we are now in-game and this looks like Stone Block to me. We've got all sorts of stuff. I don't know what I just did. I just left click and, and whatever I had went away. Well, that's kind of sad. But we can see here that we have our quest book, all defined, massive quest book with Stone Block 2. And then we've also got our starting apple and Stoinium or stone -inium. But there you guys have it. If you enjoyed this video, it helped you out. If it got you stone block 2, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, including how to start a stone block 2 server coming up in a few days. My name is Nick, and this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.